a very good evening to everyone and hello thank you for joining i am ashita lunkard and i'll be moderating the session uh, i can see a lot of law students and young professionals as our participants today keen to know more about the profession and how can they overcome or tackle the hurdles faced in the practice and i know we all have a lot of queries right from the very beginning of the career or sometimes even before we enter the practice a few are answered before in hand and we left with a few to face ourselves and i am assuming a lot of participants are going to agree with me here to answer many such questions of yours and mine we have with us today a profound speaker and the one the practice goes to whenever they have they need expert level guidance we have professor advocate nusra chasor he's been practicing as an arguing counsel before the high court of bombay and other courts in mumbai since his very enrollment and he does practice in diverse fields of law and also appears on and off before the honorable supreme court of india he is also affiliated with the government law college as a teaching faculty since 1988 with several reported matters featuring him on a regular basis in almost all the mumbai dailies he is truly an impeccable stalwart of the law we are more than happy to have you with us today sir my pleasure my pleasure thank you ishita my pleasure uh now starting with the session i have a very basic question for you probably all the law students have it uh, even before they enter the field mm. or no the my question is what are the things one should know even before entering this field now like if i have this basic idea that i want to pursue law as mm. my career so what yeah. are the things i should be aware of you should be aware of yes that's a very good question as a young student or a young budding lawyer uh, don't uh, dream of just specializing in one branch of law please know that you must know all the procedural law cpc crpc evidence act and uh, you must flirt with all subjects <laughs> <laughs> uh, apart from the law you must also know history geography keep reading newspapers every day law editorial you must know about it uh, i don't at this initial stages think of joining the chamber of one a specialist practicing in a matrimonial law or a specialist practicing in tax law then your your scope of knowledge will be narrowed down so try and read all the judgment of the supreme court and high court and english courts american court canadian courts which are all fortunately available on the live law and the google and read them and according to me practice nowadays is much more easier than before you know uh, as a young lawyer you have many places to join of a many eminent seniors many join many lawyers who are busy practicing even if you don't find any senior to join don't get let down every court has got a legal aid committee hmm? there's a free legal aid committee lot of work available enroll yourself there in the legal aid committee join they keep reading become a member of your library keep reading the law every day and keep sitting in the when you are sitting at least sit every day in a court where trials are going on or some legal submissions are going on in any court of law maybe a district court a judicial magistrate first class second class and make notes of the lawyers making submission what type of evidence is being recorded so you be a alert junior huh? because in the initial stages you will not be able to cope up of course if your senior has a lot of work and busy man you can be engaged and sometimes seniors do not take all types of matters when they are confined to one particular branch of law they get stuck uh, the matters keep on flowing to you but i do not want you as a young lawyer to get stuck with one particular routine matter like matrimonial or arbitration or any particular matter so keep um, diverse laws you must know so you must know the evidence act cpc crpc evidence by heart <laughs> and constitution of india the basic principle where you should be able to lay your hand i do not mean that you by heart everything you will be able to lay for example under the constitution of india free legal aid service ka provision kaha hai article 39a huh? crpc ke andar free state has to provide free legal aid section 304 huh? cpc ke andar section 
ऑर्बिट्रेशन कंसिलियेशन मीडिएशन लोक अदालत देन सेक्शन थर्टी ऑफ द आर्बिट्रेशन एक्ट प्रोवाइड फॉर आर्बिट्रेटेड टू मेक एफर्ट्स टू सेटल द मैटर बाई मीडिएशन कंसिलियेशन सेक्शन सिक्सटी वन टू नाइनटी आर अगेन आर्बिट्रेशन द कंसिलियेशन प्रोसीज यू शुड नो दैट एंड लीडिंग जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सच एज हुसैन अरा खातून केस <laughs> with a very famous judgment which you must have learned in the first year uh, where several criminals were blinded and uh, many of them were languishing in jail in bihar without bail even in bailable cases for more than more than 3 years punishment may be 1 year 2 year 3 years they are languishing for 10 years the supreme court said they must be released on bail uh, just because the client has no money uh, unable to pay you don't refuse the work except the brief an indigent person is entitled to free legal aid <laughs> then you come to know everything padhte rahiye ha huh? because uh, ye sab dekhte rahiye aap and start your practice on the lower court huh? don't travel immediately to supreme court or high court huh? because you should know the abcd first huh? aapka foundation theek nahi rahega to your building will collapse huh? what you yeah, learn in sure. high court and supreme court superior court appellate court is the foundation of the building is the building structure is put up but your trial structure is put up in trial court huh? mm-hmm. your evidence act play a very important and pivotal role how to establish the truth of a matter sifting of the fact wo wah seekhenge aap trial court ke andar yes throughout the law school uh, like i'm assuming a lot of people try to get given extra efforts and extra curriculars along with academics right so how important are the marks obtained and the extra curriculars throughout the law school in long run like are the marks looked up to again later or you know you should just keep running behind the academics and ignore the extra curriculars or how should you manage both what would you say on that extra curricular you have to assign what extra curricular activities mean if you are a sports person continue with your sports activities Uh, every day you keep one hour, two hours for your uh, jogging, running, playing tennis, whatever do you game. Don't give it up. A lawyer has to be a healthy person, uh, isn't it? Uh, at the same time, you study. <laughs> uh, at the same, you do your yoga regularly, at least half an hour, forty-five minutes. Uh, you you should be in a, in a proper mental frame of work. Uh, as regards students are concerned, when they are pursuing law degree, first year, second year, third year, five year, I will not strongly recommend. they should uh, take up a uh, intention huh? on and off they can go to the chamber of a some senior see how things are happening uh, visit the police station how the police officer record fir how the statements are recorded under 161 how the police is uh, maintaining the various uh, register then you also visit the magistrate court uh, what is uh, how the bail applications are argued how a remand application is presented uh, how evidence is recorded then you visit jails uh, jail ke andar there is a different treatment uh, it's a jail custody ke andar how the jailer what uh, what kind of treatment what kind of work they are that on and off once in a week ek ek jagah rakh gaya and i am not totally shutting you visit the court of law maybe once in a week or a, a twice in a month hmm? you watch a trial which is taking place one civil trial one a criminal trial uh, then uh, you come to know the nature of the work by just sitting in senior's office uh, they you will not learn much because uh, senior will be busy taking instruction of course sometime you also need to know what are the instruction how a senior takes instruction visit the office yeah, sometime definitely. but don't take it up as, as a assignment and a regular routine 11 to 5 o'clock that will simply your your studies will be marred so because so much of uh, um, your you have a load of reading Uh, these days uh, because according i would not suggest any student ultimately you are going to be in the court of so 3 4 yeah, saal mein yeah. have not falling so please pay attention towards your studies and do visits do visit the senior chamber or any lawyer around uh, make a request i would like to come and sit for no 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 lawyer what is all would say no to student in my chamber almost every week every month many student come and visit uh, i take them to the court of law i show them i also uh, advise them to go to the police station advise them to go to district court court of sessions family court mediation kaisa record karte hain consentum kaisa hota hai you know you come to know all this um do make it a practice okay at the same time concentrate on your studies because at the moment passing is paramount <laughs> huh? it, it is, is fundamental 
Mm. Uh, I'm sorry to break you there. Uh, yeah. If we take into consideration the current trend, even the first year students go hunting uh, around for internships. If not internships in the chambers of a lawyer or an advocate, uh, like people or uh, law students in general tend to go for content writing internships. At times, not one but two internships at a time. So then, now in this virtual world, uh, virtual world after us hit uh, being hit by COVID, and mm. since everyone can work from their home as per uh, their pace, I have seen students personally who like go for internships, like more than one internships at a time. and probably we have our classes online we get the record, lectures recorded and everything so we can watch them at our pace study any time we want to and the traveling time has been saved so like there's this general trend that everyone right from their first year of college law college they start hunting for internships so the trend is quite adverse mm if you are hunting for internship i cannot say anything if you think you can devote time go ahead with it if you can if you can think, think that you can make some extra buck by virtue of internship not a bad idea uh, but it should not be a rule you know it's a, it is a it is of course in exception it is an exception uh, and i would uh, request those students who want to practice law as a career and those who want to become an arguing counsels or a trial lawyers uh, they should have a you know support of their family you know <laughs> the support of the family for initial period eh? because it is not sure even it immediately you will make money hmm? it will take some time but if you keep assisting some seniors i am sure the seniors will pay you some stipend you know it is not mandatory uh, it it is it is so uh, look into it that uh, you should not be dependent too much upon your senior or in the profession that you will immediately make money it will take time you should have a lot of patience and you must have perseverance if you are entering the profession yes there are many students after doing law they take up corporate jobs for them no problem corporate people will welcome you they give you fat salaries uh, according to me it is no charm you know a, corporate practice has a different thing those who want under compelling circumstances you may take it those who do not like court work unless you know the court job unless you know the um the the grassroots level advocacy you will not become a good lawyer you know if you want to be a good lawyer and arguing lawyer and present before the court of law you should be able to marshal many question many contentious issues come up before the court of law in a practice they don't come up while pleading drafting uh, there are many lawyers who join solicitors firm and uh, the brief come from america london outsourcing ho jata hai of course you make some money i am not against it making money but uh, i am against that kind of practice because student many of them i do not want to name many youngsters come to me briefing me from solicitors firm uh, they do not have much exposure i could see that their knowledge of law is uh, uh, that no, not that bright they are still only you know uh, they not familiar with uh, what is admissibility of document recording of document what is interrogatories Uh, i just told one of the intern uh, you please bring a uh, interrogatory and come uh, she was blinking at me sir what is interrogatory unless you are a trial lawyer conducting you won't know what is interrogatory when they are submitted uh, affidavit of document when they are tendered uh, ye sab cheeze kya hai when you learn it only when you join the legal practice when you do the court matches chamber mein jayenge to aap banayenge plain banayenge written statement banayenge affidavit banayenge which is the everything on the net and net network and job wala ke andar <laughs> isn't it it is uh, that easy but there are many people and uh, many people student will be used as a glorious glorious pawns and uh, clerks in uh, the solicitors offices and if you are prepared to accept that compulsion accept it but i am totally against i would not recommend anybody to join uh, during your uh, student days uh, and uh, do this gulami and uh, <laughs> gadagiri due respect uh, you should be concentrating and uh, go on and sit for some time and uh, only if you have compulsion economic compulsion want to earn some money somebody is giving you some work then then you take it no other choice that is only in such case otherwise devote your time devote your time on reading devote your time reading judgment not only your bare act subject so all your university question papers of 10 15 years you will come to know as a student huh 
you ask some professors, some lawyers like me, who will always be willing to help you. So this is the problem. Many questions, the judgment come. Uh, what is the crux of the judgment? What is the ratio designedly laid down? So you sub cheesing up Okay. So now even after like if I'm assuming now I start uh, looking for internships after completing my law. So hmm. should I go behind the brand name? Like, okay, now I've uh, probably interned at this fancy law firm or uh, under this big advocate. So probably I'll get more future opportunities. Should I be under um, this, I would say, <laughs> implication? Or should I go looking for a good work culture where I'll, I'll probably not have a very good, I'll not work under a very good brand name, but hmm. I'll get to learn more and it will be a healthy work culture where I will feel like ha, okay to kal, subha, utke, mujhe wapas jana hai pe. what should <laughs> I focus on the brand name or the work <laughs> culture I would say that uh, uh, you should have proper equation with your seniors you know? the brand name doesn't help you but huh? naam darshan khote you know <laughs> Sometimes, because uh, I do not want to say that many people coming from the many solicitors from big, big firm, they do not know the ABCD of uh, uh, the conducting of a trial matter. And you know, uh, you should join a chamber where you have a good equation with your senior who will devote some time to you. You will answer your question. Not necessarily that only brand lawyers, senior lawyers, they are very... They have their, their own busy with the matters. They may not have time to teach you. Huh? Sometimes little experienced lawyer having lesser work, they will devote more work to you. There are many brand name lawyers who take lesser work. They do very, very systematically, methodically. I will not take any names because uh, it, it should not offend anybody. Huh? There are many lawyers who do a slipshod job, very artificial job. There are many of them do a very fine job. So it all depends how your equations will be. Uh, in my opinion, you should learn, you should develop a good health, uh, relationship with the chamber with your whom you are working and maintain cordial relationship with everybody, with uh, all the juniors and senior and staff, then only you can get along well. <laughs> uh, uh, this is for those juniors who are lucky enough to find a, a good placement and good senior. And in case you are not able to find a CD, don't be disappointed. I told you that. Join a library. Join the, uh, make an application to the legal aid committee. Sit in the court, watch matters. Take the help of seniors, always willing to help you. Prepare the matter and you get easily opportunity, exposure immediately. When you work yeah. in a senior's chambers, you won't get exposure immediately. <laughs> Please note that. Huh? Because it will be hierarchy. There may be 10 juniors. You may be left alone. So you can, you, you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, come out with different colors. You can work harder. Huh? You may not be a very bright student uh, in the college days, not necessarily, but you're a hardworking student. Huh? If you are intelligent enough, you watch the proceedings in the court of law and take up legal aid matter free because the matters may not come to you. Rich clients may not brief you. A senior may not brief you. You go unnoticed. So what will you do? Legal aid committee can the free matter karing ya. Okay? Mm. And prepare the evidence, prepare the pleadings, everything without being avaricious. The moment you put up a case and argue very well, you are being noticed. Please note that. Uh, there are many seniors who are there to recommend you. The judge himself will compliment you. This young junior argued the matter very well. Uh, the judges will recommend your name. Uh, please note that. There is no substitute for hard work in this profession. No connection. Uh, uh, even many judges' children are not doing well, I know. Uh, uh, there are many lawyers who started from the very humble beginning. Uh, they rose very high in their profession. Huh? Mr. Ram Jatmalani came as a refugee from Pakistan. Huh? He had no practice. Huh? He was in uh, uh, Kalyan courts and all court. Ultimately, he worked hard. He rose, uh, became one of the top legends of the American Indian lawyer. Justice Dhanuka had no seniors. He himself said, I was a paper delivery boy. Kya paper delivery boy. Paper delivery boy. He did not have any seniors. 
who can train him or oh, himself by kitni mehnat se by stretch of his own work he came up and he became a senior lawyer then he became a high court judge so that gives you a great satisfaction and gratification ha huh? ram uh, the <laughs> uh, nani palki wala whom you who argued sensational cases in the supreme court he did not have much practice he requested many people i am going to argue bank nationalization case ha huh? a uh, please can you lend me your name he requested juniors put your name <laughs> he was nobody in the year 1970s so he came up slowly slowly everybody comes up this way you know they work hard so these are the three four examples i gave you just mr ram jet malani mr uh, justice danuka's example and nani palki wala how they have come up these are all great lawyers came from a very humble beginning huh? i am not talking of people who are born with a golden spoon wo alag baat hai unki but people who have come up very hard way they will survive long and their roots are very firm hmm? Hmm. it's That's difficult it. to dismantle them in the profession so you have to work hard you know and these lawyers whom i quoted they have practiced in all branches of law <laughs> ram jet malani has a practice in almost every branch of law in every court in india he has appeared the lowest court in india to the highest court in various high court in india ha uh, aisa koi court nahi nahi khade hue ha justice danu ka practice in the small causes court city civil court magistrates court sessions court and high court supreme court then that's how everywhere palki wala used to come to the small causes court he wrote in his book he argued appeals in lower court tribunals he went to income tax tribunal ha uh, high court supreme court So, ये सब इनकी किताबें पढ़िए आप जस्टिस चीफ जस्टिस चागला की रोजेस इन डिसम्बर पढ़िए ही सेड फॉर इनिशियल सेवन टू एट डेज ही हैड नो वर्क ही सीनियर यू शुड नॉट रेकमेंड हिम एनी वर्क ही वॉज ए वेरी बिजी सीनियर टॉप लॉयर इन द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट मिस्टर जिन्ना अंदोडे बट ही वॉज ए वेरी कोल्ड हार्टेड ही शुड नॉट रेकमेंड एनी वर्क and he said whatever money i used to get was teaching from the government law college 450 rupees i was surviving on that ha huh? the same just Ch- chagla became rose to become the first indian chief justice of the high court an eminent legal personality a legend ha huh? uh, in the legal profession wo padhiye aap roses in december sure, you read sure, sure. as a young lawyer you read his book roses in december nani palki wala ka padhiye aap story राम जेठ मलानी की स्टोरी पढ़ी आपने यू रीड दिस बुक यू कैन एम्यूलेट देर एग्जाम्पल्स ओके सो डोंट डोंट गो दैट व्हाट ग्लिटर्स इज गोल्ड अरे ये पर्टिकुलर ऑफिस में ये है आई विल जॉइन सालबेस ऑफिस ओनटो यू मे नॉट हैव टाइम टू डू वर्क जॉइन इफ यू आर हैव अपॉर्चुनिटी यू हैव अ गुड इक्वेशन इफ इज अनएबल टू कंसंट्रेट एंड गिव टाइम टू यू नॉट वर्क जॉइनिंग देन एन आफ्टर इट इज बेटर टू जॉइन अ चेंबर ऑफ अ लॉयर हु गिव्स टाइम if nobody gives time sit in the library watch keep watching in the uh, the trial court ke andar assist the senior lawyer i would like to assist you sir without any expectation okay without expectation i will help that you in the matter that can ma- surely be done pro bono bolo i would like to help your client pro bono ha huh? huh? <laughs> use the word pro bono all the seniors will like it ha huh? if you tell the senior you give me uh, this much money i will help you then he will say good night to you samjhe na aap शुरुआत में कोई टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन लगाने का नहीं एंड बी हैप्पी मेंटेन ए गुड रैपो विद सीनियर्स मनी शुड नॉट बी द कंसीडरेशन लेट लेट मनी चेज यू एंड यू शुड नॉट चेज मन डेफिनेटली सर द मोमेंट यू एस्टैब्लिश योरसेल्फ यू कम टू नो आर यू आर अ बडिंग यंग लॉयर मेनी लॉयर्स विल रेकमेंड यू वर्क आई एम रेकमेंडिंग वर्क टू मेनी जूनियर्स माय स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज़ आई एम आल्सो नाउ गेटिंग सीनियर नाउ मीन मी गेटिंग ओल्ड नाउ 64 65 इयर्स अब रनिंग अराउंड मैं कितने दिन के आठ दस maintain maintain cordial relationship with everybody no gossiping 
नो इंडलजिंग इन डेरोगेटरी कमेंट्स अपॉन एनीबडी ये सब छोड़ देने का प्रोफेशन ऑफ लॉ यू आर ऑफिसर ऑफ द कोर्ट क्या डिग्निटी ऑफ दफिस ऑफ दज ए लॉयर एंड रिस्पेक्ट द जजेस एंड रिस्पेक्ट योर अपोनेंट रिस्पेक्ट योर कलीस एंड नो गॉसिप नो मलिशियस प्रोपोकेंडा अगेंस्ट एनी ये सीख जाएंगे हम लोग एंड एंड यू विल रीच दोबिलिटी मार्क इन द प्रोफेशन so according to you how important is networking throughout law school like uh, if we see internships for just taking an example are uh, the one is one way of it, uh, networking that i'll go to this particular office probably i'll meet uh, 10 more people like me of my age probably a few seniors probably after a, after some time i'll meet juniors i'll get in touch with the uh, senior advocates that is one way what other ways are for networking and how important it is to have a good sort of network throughout the law school like how can it help in the future yes having a good network creating a good rapport with students and colleagues and your friends is very important huh? because uh, fortunately you have a good platform these days uh, with the advent of uh, uh, this uh, um, social media you are in touch with everybody i am not totally against the idea that you don't join some chamber while student go there for some time but don't neglect your studies huh? sometime in in the city of bombay there are students who come and join me uh, they join uh, each senior for 3 3 months huh? that's a good practice no they want to join uh, test everybody and uh, acquire knowledge from everybody mm. uh, that is also a good idea according to me you can take a break and join huh? because uh, earlier uh, about 4 5 years ago 10 years ago uh, it was compulsory having a training with senior was compulsory now it is not made compulsory according to me the bar council must make it compulsory you know after passing out the law you must have at least one year training with a senior um a compulsory training and a senior should consider giving some honorarium to the juniors that i believe because they will be encouraged huh? sure. if not salary there some honorarium some traveling expenses out of pocket expenses dena chahiye that should be uh, made compulsory by statutory rules that will encourage that i am in favor of a, a student having a internship for at least one year minimum if not two years and they should be provided uh, some honorarium uh, because oh, that is, is a great way I, of encouragement yes i keep my juniors and i give them some honorarium so that they get uh, encouragement of course many of them they don't get walak baat hai so they get interest you know they get interest money makes him here go thoda bahut to kharcha nikalna mangta na you cannot be expected to ask your parents uh, give me taxi money train money acha nahi lagta so the senior should think about it so according to me i will appeal to all the seniors uh, please do take care of your juniors and give them some decent honorarium so that the students get inspiration and uh, uh, they can join the profession sure sure yeah. <laughs> of course what? many of them give i'm not saying give many of them give also yes hmm. uh what are the key aspects or the skills one should know like after the five years of their studying like right? probably i should know what how a basic drafting would be done or probably i should have good communication skills after or after completing my education five years like five years three years course depending so what are the key skills or key aspects you think every uh, young professional should have yes all the law books which you have read from first year to fifth year don't abandon them <laughs> keep your notes keep reading them keep bare acts and do more research and keep reading and uh, adding it preferably start preparing your cases drafting writ petition drafting slp bail application uh, of course there are a lot of good books but it depend very from facts of each case एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग विद योर ओन हैंड आपके माइंड में जाएगा केसेस पूरे जाएंगे मेंटेन ए गुड डायरी ऑफ ईच ए बी सी डी वाइज से ए फॉर एंटीसिपेटरी बेल बी फॉर बेल सी फॉर कस्टडी आई फॉर इंजंक्शन जे फॉर जूरिडिक्शन तो उसके अंदर जजमेंट पूरे एंटर कर दीजिए आप अफकोर्स यू मे बी एंटरिंग इन योर डेस्कटॉप वॉट एवर मे बी कीप राइटिंग एंड कीप रिवाइजिंग दैम वो देखते जी एंड फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ ड्राफ्टिंग एंड प्लीडिंग यू शुड नॉट फॉरगेट ड्राफ्टिंग ऑफ ए प्लेन इज एन आर्ट यू हैव टू कीप इन बेर इन माइंड ऑलवेज द प्रोविजन ऑफ ऑर्डर सिक्स एंड ऑर्डर सेवन ऑर्डर एट सी पी सी हाउ टू ड्राफ्ट ए प्लेन एंड रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट 
well drafting a criminal application is quite easier drafting a writ petition is quite easier even drafting slp is easier but drafting a plain and written statement is a skillful job ha wo sab dekh ba khada dekhne ka because otherwise your suit gets barred your written statement can be stuck off um, you should see the provisions of limitation hai cause of action barabar hai kya nahi hai and uh, um, each statute you should know that there are statutes having special courts uh, special courts start with a non obstantate clause such as notwithstanding anything contained elsewhere in this act uh, no other court shall have jurisdiction like section 7 of the family court act section 33 of the maharashtra rent control act section 91 of the societies act all these act they contain their special statutes non obstantate clause so the proceedings will lie only in those courts and no other court huh. Huh? Uh, for example in the specific relief act you are dispossessed by uh, by the defendant without without following the due process of law you are required to approach the court huh? uh, which court you do not know court mean normally the civil court ab cpc ke andar courts are not defined so you should know the provisions of a maharashtra ke andar the civil courts act ha huh? uh, civil courts act to par chuke hain aapne civil courts act mein district court hai civil ya senior division junior division hai municipal court small causes court city of bombay bombay high court city civil court small causes court civil court fortunately crpc defining the criminal court court of session judicial magistrate first class second class executive magistrate special executive magistrate so you should know where is the jurisdiction lies keep on seeing what are their powers uh, what is the jurisdiction kitna power hai inke paas many lawyers do not know in the city of mumbai one of the lawyer had come to be a trademark suit a uh, filing a suit can a district court ka matlab they are going to cities will know a city civil court is not a district court in mumbai it is the bombay high court exercising jurisdiction under the ordinary original civil ocj is a district court so, so bombay mein district court nahi unlike delhi समझे ना आप तो एज ए यंग लॉयर यू शुड नो व्हाट इज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट तो पुणे में लकीली तुमको डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट है कल्याण में है बॉम्बे सिटी में हाई कोर्ट इज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट द हाई कोर्ट हैज वेरियस ज्यूरिडिक्शन अपेलेट ज्यूरिडिक्शन ओरिजिनल ज्यूरिडिक्शन टेस्टामेंट्री ज्यूरिडिक्शन रिट ज्यूरिडिक्शन बहुत सारे ज्यूरिडिक्शन है नॉर्मली अ क्रिमिनल ट्रायल इज कंडक्टेड बाय द द ओरिजिनल ज्यूरिडिक्शन ओनली अ मजिस्ट्रेट Uh, in the pune city judicial magistrate first class second class in the city of bombay calcutta madras where the population is more than a million a metropolitan magistrate so they are the original court of judicial you know unke powers kya the section 190 abc of the crpc ke andar uh, the magistrate can take uh, cognizance of a complaint on a police report or that is 173 crpc or he can take in a private complaint under section 200 or from his own reading suppose agar police officer bolega under 169 ke andar report de diya b summary c summary report mean no evidence and which the magistrate can sue mo to take cognizant under section 190c bolega usko power is kya summary report jayega because the report of a police officer is not binding upon the magistrate so as a student you will not know this in the first year बट जब कोर्ट में जाएंगे आप लॉ जजमेंट पढ़ेंगे सीखेंगे आप यू शुड नो द लीडिंग जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन दलिता कुमारी दलिता कुमारी वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ यूपी क्या है एफआईआर के बारे में फाइव एन जजमेंट वो वो लॉ नहीं जानेंगे तो आप यू वुड नॉट नो सीआरपीसी के अंदर यू शुड एफ आई आर का लॉ है इसके अंदर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लॉ में ऑफकोर्स यू नो एवरीबडी नोस केशवानंदा भारत इस केस सो एवरीबडी डोंट गो टू प्रैक्टिस इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट Keshwananda Bharati is out of touch for us. Huh? So we start from the lower court. Lower court means what happens in it? So those important judgments you should know by heart. Huh? Hmm. Uh, for example, in the matter of arrest, Joginder Kumar's case judgment, you have to read. The arrest guidelines are given. Uh, what is Hussain Ara Khatun's case? Uh, uh, arrest of a uh, judicial magistrate first class was arrested by the police, which is absolutely wrong. Uh, that is a judgment of a delhi bar association versus a state of uh, gujarat where the magistrate of uh, uh, nadiad was paraded by the police officer kunnas me aake whether who can be arrested 
under the constitution of india can the president of india be arrested no he has a immunity under article 361 governors have a immunity huh? under the crpc scheme ke andar bhi they can't be arrested. cpc ke andar bhi, uh, you cannot compel the president of india vice president minister to attend so you should know the provision who can come to the court who cannot come to the court huh? who are the witnesses who are not the witnesses so ye sab kya hai ye seekhenge aap slowly abhi aap don't close your books and keep your books hamesha every day keep referring one one bear act i will suggest every young junior budding lawyer please read one bear act every day ha huh? securitization pe padho drt pe padho naye naye law aate hain wo padhiye ha huh? ufa ke pe upar padho every day one one bear act and at least 5 6 to 10 judgment padho ha huh? then only your mind is open sharp you remember the provision you will be able to remember the section uh, like uh, anticipatory bail provision both session court and high court has uh, section 438 both magistrate and the police officer has a power to grant bail 436 uh, 437 power of the uh, magistrate to brought in non bailable cases what is the remand application 167 to what are the powers of injunction to grant order 39 rule 1 and 2 and section 94 cpc supplemental powers appointment of a receiver order 40 ye sab janna chahiye you cannot start a civil law a civil suit without the presentation of a plain order 4 cpc padhe aapne similarly you cannot start a criminal case without the presentation of fir or a private complaint under section 200 huh? a police is not taking up the complaint and not registering fir not the end of the world not to get disappointed you can lodge a private complaint under section 190 sub clause a red bill section 200 private complaint file kijiye so you should know what is session tribal case warrant tribal case summary tribal case a non summary case ab civil cases may be high court pe district court ke andar a long cost trial short cost trial isn't it you should know a long cost mean where evidence is being recorded contentious issues summary suit mean summary suit under order 30 Uh, 37 rule 1 and 2 check bouncing cases uh, hundi cases which are summary section 6 be summary hai, uh, of the specific relief act but unfortunately evidence is recorded it is prolonged so ye sab cheeze janna chahiye aapko what are the various courts where what is the jurisdiction both in civil law and criminal law uh, what are the tribunals drt is a tribunal isn't it then motor accident tribunal Uh, then we have a tribunal of uh, labor court is a tribunal then mat and cat are tribunal whether tribunal may strict provisions of cpc crpc evidence are applicable or not they have their special rules only when their special rules are absent the cpc evidence act are applicable arbitration ke act le arbitrate is not a court contempt it doesn't lie the cpc and the evidence act strictly not applicable huh? you should know that section 1 mein padhenge evidence act mein arbitrate is not a court affidavit is not evidence ye sab cheeze dhyan mein hona chahiye aap so to sum up we can say ki ek to communication skills acche chahiye you should be a good reader you should uh, know the provisions well like ab jab bhi padho acche se padho like that is what i think can sum you can sum it up with you i will have share, a keen I will eye for provision i'll share one more secret with you yes provision to you know if you are not a good speaker and uh, you feel shy huh? you are not able you kuch uh, lacking uh, you are not able to speak express yourself don't bother lock up yourself in a room mirror pe khad jaiye aap and start giving lecture to yourself and listen every day practice for half an hour I had a stammering problem in my college days. You know, uh, I used to speak very fast and myself not able to understand. I consulted my principal and vice chancellor Ram Joshi in SIS College where I was studying, and he was so kind enough to call me, tell me, Nusrat, you practice in the mirror. So I have mirror me practice kia, and I became fine. I am able to communicate. The judges are able to listen to me. and i also became a law teacher <laughs> so teaching ke liye or to can i to make yourself audible and a communication skill join a law college teach in a part time 
I am teaching in the law college not because I am expert in law. <laughs> I am learning along with my student. Okay. I I keep on changing my subjects every year. In the government law college and wherever I am teaching, har jagah bar council ki I took various lectures for the last fifteen twenty years. Every time when you open up, I took a different subject because not because I am expert, I am learning along with the students and young lawyers. So learning me maza aata hai. So you keep teaching like this. If you have a communication speaking problem, don't get nervous. Speak in the mirror, and that you will become confident. Okay, that's a secret I am sharing with you. This is with my personal experience. This is the tip all law students and young professionals should know because communication is a major part of our profession, and you should be a good great speaker. Tip. Should be a versatile speaker in the court of law, convincing, and don't raise your voice. Be respectful to the judges. Be respectful to the opponent. And even uh, do not annoy your witnesses when cross-examining. Ask questions in a dignified manner. Of course, you can be firm. Uh, you can you cannot be you can be you can uh, you can stress yourself, but you cannot be arrogant. You cannot be rude. Your demeanor are being watched. <laughs> huh? Like the witness, the court is watching your demeanor. If you are an aggressive lawyer and uh, uncontrollable lawyer, you will be disrespected. the judges may not give you the discretion they may not give you respect if you want to command good respect your submission must be very nice very humble and very forceful and restrained use restraint okay yeah? no undue aggression take a pause huh? take a pause address them with dignity and even with dignity when other side is arguing don't interrupt okay yeah? hmm. just listen when you want to say that he is a Communicating wrong, addressing wrongly, then take a, with your lordship's fine permission. I would like to rejoin to some of the submission which are incorrect. Bad me karo, beach me unko rukao mat. You don't say my friend is misleading. Ah, huh? he is not giving correct facts. The judge may get annoyed <laughs> because I am telling you with the experience. Even as a young lawyer, I was also impatient. So we get chided by the judges. I am very grateful to the judges who corrected us. So we learn from our experience not to interrupt. Now, there are many lawyers love to interrupt, which is not correct behavior. So patience and politeness in uh, one's speech is very important here. And perseverance, okay? Yeah? Patience. Ah, over here, yeah, right. So, what is your take on rejection, and how should professionals deal? Like, abhi, it is not compulsory that every. Uh, Senior, के पास इफ आई गो तो दे वुड लेट मी सिट इन देयर चेम्बर और देयर कैबिन वुड लेट मी बी एन ऑब्जर्वर देयर और इवन ड्यूरिंग इंटर्नशिप और एनी थिंग रिजेक्शन इज समथिंग वी ऑल फेस ऑन डेली बेसिस नाउ सो वॉट इज योर टेक ऑन रिजेक्शन एंड हाउ शुड वन डील विद रिजेक्शन हाउ शुड वन कोप अपर गेट डिसंटेड दिस प्रोफेशन इज अ ओशियन क्या प्रोफेशन इज अशियन ओशियन इज अ विंडो ओपन फॉर एवरीबडी I told you when you are not getting a senior of your liking, no problem. Join the library, join the state legal aid committee. Free matters they are giving you, participate. आपके neighbours के matter रहेंगे, गरीबों के रहेंगे, slum वालों के take up those matters. Work hard, prepare it, and show it to some senior. They will help you. I am sure no senior will say no to a junior. <laughs> I am telling you. they will not say if you go to a respectable senior who commands respect in the profession uh, somebody who is a good whom you, whom you repose faith and draft it properly sometime you want to consult me show it to me i will tell you whether your plaint is correct or not whether your application is correct or not aajkal email ke upar sab log we can give the it whatsapp pe bhi we can chat samjhe na no rejection in this profession please note that there is a window open for everybody law is an ocean इतने लेजिस्लेशन इतने लॉस हैं स्टेट लॉ है यू कैन डू इट इज अ बिग इट इज अ लॉ इज अ बिग फैक्ट्री देर इज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी देर इज नो रीजन टू गेट रिजेक्टेड समबडी इज नॉट ऑफ योर लाइकिंग नो प्रॉब्लम ग्रेसफुली पार्ट ओके कंपनी डोंट अब्यूज एनी बडी नो प्रॉब्लम एंड यू विल गेट मोर एनर्जी यू विल बी यू विल गेट एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी टू वर्क हार्ड Ah, huh? somebody has rejected me. I will show him, show them then what I am tomorrow. Okay, 
वर्क हार्ड वर्क हार्ड यूटली देर इज नो रूम फॉर रिजेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी दैट इज ओनली फूल्स कैन गेट प्रिवेल बाई दिस there is no rejection i know i there is no word uh, rejection in my dictionary <laughs> okay be 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 confident kya be a smug hamesha confident rahiye say you can do it if others can do why not me kya yes yeah, surely self surely. confidence is required in this profession kya you should not be pessimistic you must always be optimistic ha huh? If X Y Z has done it, achieved it, why not me? Definitely. Uh, everybody has a drawback. I will try to overcome it. Okay. Even if you have a stammering one, I told you, me rarke bajaye. Continuous reading of the law will solve the problem. I'm finding of a correct legal position. Google pe dekh mil jayega aapko aaj. Jurisdiction mil jayega aapko. and draft ko settle karne ka to if you feel confident take the help of a senior lawyer a uh, usl can settle it abhi abhi when you read uh, all indian law reporter all india law reporter we have a abc device every library i think google ke andar hai on yes. each topic they have a subject on how to record nothing to worry for you, you don't even need to consult any lawyer any senior because your google is your best library you know yeah we it, have a huge it, exposure like this generation exposure i am taking out so much material for my lectures and even for arguing and amazing each and every uh, judgment is there of the supreme court of india foreign judgment usk england ke samjhe na net ke upar everything is there why there is no bothersome and you should be smart enough don't get dejected and you have self confidence faith in yourself initially you must do everything don't confine to one or two laws then after 3 4 5 6 10 years ke baad your client will decide your future ha huh? the <laughs> nature of the work which is coming to you you will decide i uh, enough is enough i know many laws i better stick to one or two branches one or two courts ha huh? dab uke upar hai aapke jab tak pair mein dam hai har jagah jaiye aap ha huh? go to civil court see go to criminal court go to revenue court go to Uh, tribunals matrimonial courts arbitration ko sab kare don't say no to anything don't say no to any work and take it up everything okay so so aapke hisab se initial hurdles kya hote hai ek abhi i'm assuming mera agar law complete ho gaya hai 5 years ka course i am uh, planning on getting into practice hmm. so basic initial hurdles kya honge jo main face kar sakti hu and i shouldn't get disheartened by those like basic hurdles like, jo aapne face kare honge jo hmm. aur like sacred lawyers ne advocates ne across the world face kare honge yes. and like if you can guide us through those find out in your locality in your town who is a busy lawyer a senior lawyer who requires uh, who has a vacancy hmm? if he is willing to take you join his chambers hmm? provided he has got decent work if not very big work even decent work so you know din ke panch che matter bhi rahenge unke paas theek hai no problem you can work on it dekho work karo and he should have a variety of work from a trial court to appeal court to revisional court so you come to know huh? in a district court you know that uh, Uh, in a civil court uh, civil just senior division junior division trial court matter will go to district court uh, appeal court it will first appeal will come to high court so you learn it even a criminal court can that somebody who has got sufficient work but if you feel if you find that there is no such lawyer available who can teach you just do as i said enroll yourself in the legal aid committee start taking up those matters free of charge every day in a remand court hundreds of accused are unrepresented kya hundreds of accused are hundreds of accused remand court pe jaiye aap session court mein pune mein kahin bhi any ko anywhere you appear for them bolo what is the wahan pe aapko bail application milega i will represent you plead for bail ha huh? plead for his bail if he has made a confession retract the admission so have that is only when you have confidence 
I used to do the same way. You know that I used to appear for many people free of charge. Of course, the seniors whom I joined were very kind. They have shown me whatever guidance they could do. But seniors are very busy people these days. You know, they are busy in their work. But you had to create your own uh, uh, place in the profession. So as I told you, jai a court ke andar there are hundreds of accused standing in the queue without lawyer. Approach them, talk to them. Ke apka problem kya? Main help karun kya? The police officer and carpoon will tell you, "Ye matter." Hai. So you will learn some criminal matter. So family court may be rahega. So there are many poor girl and boys coming for divorce. There is a legal aid committee enrolled that I would like to be a member of the legal aid committee. Participate in that seminar. If there are legal seminars, you keep attending it. So you will be immediately kept busy. <laughs> Automatically, you will be busy. The third option, first option, join a senior. No senior, join join yourself to legal aid committee. Uh, keep reading. Third option, if you are a job option, job be available. Many banks and many companies want lawyers. So many people are say that we are not cut out for uh, uh, practicing. It takes time. I want immediate money. Job le lije. Sometimes you can take a part time job and you can uh, also practice. There is no bar. If you practice in the court of law independently, you will come to know. You learn faster. In the definitely, high court, I, I practice. I began my practice in the high court on my own. Fortunately, every senior began helping me. I was sitting in the library from morning eleven to five o'clock. Then the past till later, Saturday night, I used to sit in the association, do free matters for people. Associate. There were hundred people used to visit me because I was doing free matters. <laughs> <laughs> From the year 1988 से लेकर ये किस्सा चला 2004 तक, then I cut down because my BP problem little became high. So that is how it is a cultivated. I am teaching in the government law college honorary without charging any fees from the year 1988. अभी तक पढ़ा रहा हूँ। Now it gives me pleasure with to be student. And the bar council of Maharashtra and Goa has called me many lectures I have taken for the last 15-20 years. Uh, Judicial Academy of uh, Maharashtra, Uttan, uh, called me for lectures. I took them. Is all so, I do pro, is I do pro, pro bono for satisfaction sake. Satisfaction is like the oh, most Jodi, important thing. At the all the, the lectures day. which are there in the YouTube, I am teaching in the government law college pro bono. This all this this all uh, this, this give me this give me immense satisfaction. Uh, money is we are running money. Money is not everything. Okay. So we'd like to know your insights on client procurement and client management. Like, ठीक है अभी probably legal aid committee में join करके and stuff या दूसरे तरीके से now I have a few clients. How do I keep them? That's another important skill I think okay. everyone should know. Your case in the court of law. Very first case you have put up very case law. Hundred people are watching you. क्या? There are many seniors who cannot take up many matters. They will keep you in mind. Bole, this young girl has done a good job. Unke pas jao. They will ask for your card. There are many young clients who will be sitting. They will ask for your card. Please note that huh? your good work will not go unnoticed. You will be rewarded, <laughs> and you will be building clients. Dusron ke client tumare pas bhag kya aenge? I am telling you this. This has happened to me. I am glad. I came from Andhra Pradesh for studying in Bombay, Tirupati Sahayatamai. As a student, I liked the city. I settled down here. I had no godfathers here. I worked hard, and uh, today, by the grace of God, everything I got, and uh, no cause for any complaint. So there is a lot of work. According to me, there is no dearth of work. You know. Clients will keep coming to you the moment your presentation is good. You are an upright and honest lawyer. Definitely. Hundreds of people will recommend you work the moment you come to know this girl or boy is doing very well, and they are trustworthy. Judges will recommend your name. They will ask you to uh, guide, be an amicus curiae, be a friend of the court. Ah, <laughs> uh, you heard of this, na? Huh? 
So there is a lot of work. Please note that here. There is no dirt of work. Only you have to cultivate yourself. Your roots must be firm. Your knowledge must be good. Huh? We'd like to now take questions. So sometimes, from... sometimes the judges will ask, this particular proposition is laid down in which judgment? As a young lawyer, you should be able to get up and say, my lord, this is the judgment. Huh? Mm -hmm. Once I went to Jabalpur to argue a case, uh, Madhya Pradesh High Court, uh, I was sitting and watching for my turn to come, a red petition against the Bharat Petroleum. The division bench was sitting and some question of law came into question in Transfer of Property Act. Some lawyer was asking, upon determination of a tenancy, what is the status of a tenant? That lawyer was unable to ask, answer. Then I went and asked him, the status will be Tenancy at sufferance. <laughs> Isn't it? When a tenancy determined under Transfer of Property Act, a tenant is called. What is it called? Is at sufferance. So as a young lawyer, you should remember this. So judge was struggling to find it out. If you tell it, they'll be impressed. Pad <laughs> kyao? Uh, remember, money will be... Money will come, money should be the last thinking, money will take care of, money will run after you, after some time. Definitely, definitely. Everyone should remember these small uh, tips that we've received. These are very important tips. <laughs> uh, we'd like to now take questions from our audience. Yes. The, the first question we have is, how would working in a law firm be different from individual practice? Like... <sighs> Would there be a major difference or they'd have to deal with similar cases and stuff? And I'd like to request the participants to drop more questions if they have any in the chat box. We'll be taking it from there. Law firm, can I answer this question to you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir, sure. In a law firm, an individual practitioner. In a law firm, you are required to deal with several partners, several interns, several persons. Isn't it? So you should have a, you should be in a position to get along well with everybody. Huh? It's a delegation of duty. Huh? It's a law firm delegates work. Huh? Uh, one person will be taking instruction. Another person will be drafting a plane. Third person will be briefing the council. Huh? Another person. It's a, it's a coordination. Uh, that kind of uh, in a law firm, it, it it's a you your nature should be good. You should be in a position to get along well with everybody. So you learn many things from good quality of everybody. Of course, you will also learn the bad qualities. You come to know a person who is good or bad. So at least you develop diplomacy, <laughs> courtesy, huh? and respecting each other's feeling. Uh, in a law firm, there may be different different partners. One partner may be dealing with income tax, another partner central excise, another partner company law. So you, depending on which partner you are co concentrating your time, you will be learning that. Definitely, definitely. That is all. In a law firm, basically the law partners they themselves mostly do not come to contest cases. So they engage uh, arguing counsels like me or somebody else to argue their cases. So your direct connection with the council is a little uh, limited. Whereas in an individual practice, you are directly joining a council, maybe uh, Ram Jetmalani, Harish Salvi, whatever, X, Y, Z. So you are directly in touch with your own senior. Huh? So he keeps calling you, you keep calling him. So uh, interdependent. Whereas in a firm, it's a uh, your role may be big, your role may be small. Huh? It may be minimized. But there should, no, there should not be any disappointment. But uh, each one has it, uh, each, each organization has its own charm. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Pashwa. She's asking, and how is the option of UPSC for law students? Like, how can they prepare for UPSC along with uh, the law college? along with the studies in the law school? How can they manage both? This question, you have to address it to somebody who has given UPSC exam. <laughs> <laughs> because I have not given any exam. Uh, UPSC can the exam. You'll find a lot of material. Isn't it? 
I can. I am quite. I am qualified to answer you from the practice point of view. Uh, and as a student, what you should do when you becoming a lawyer. But UPSC is concerned. I am not. It is not my branch. I am not given the exam. Uh, but according to me, you should be able to devote time each other. Your concentration should be first to clear your exam. Uh, the same simultaneously, if not simultaneously after clearing, you resort to UPSC. You should not be in hurry. You should not be riding two horses at the same time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, ho huh? You cannot run two houses at the same time. Definitely, definitely. Mm. Being a master of one is very important. Mm. At the same one, one at a time, your target should be. Uh, you cannot be accepting each day 10 matters and be in the court. You cannot accept a matter in the Bombay High Court and Supreme Court and arbitration. Take one matter and do justice. Definitely, definitely. So I, I take up two matters a day, one morning session and one evening session. One big matter I take only one day. And I rest of the matters, I tell the juniors either you take a day or those want, uh, you can return the brief. It is not possible to handle. So how is the option of LLB after uh, LLM after completing uh, BLLB or LLB? Mm -hmm. uh, different from private practice and you know like there's a, a lot of students who want to know that should they go for LLM and or like masters or should they get into practice LLM, immediately after the, LLM I would recommend for those students those who are very happy to have more degrees <laughs> <Huh>? or <laughs> they want to teach LLM ke baad PhD karna hai we just want to practice law and enter as an arguing lawyer and a trial lawyer. LLM has no meaning for you. Yeah? LLM kiji up only provided you are achieving something. Huh? Just because for the sake of you gain more knowledge being in the court, arguing in the court. LLM do it up provided it is useful to you. It's not much in the practice. It is it may be it is a condition. Precedent for you to become a law teacher nowadays. So, so can it be said that LLM is making you more literate, but not more employable? Yes, uh, according to me, uh, LLM some some basic qualifications, some companies they want LLM, then do it up. If you are taking an employment or a teaching faculty, if you are just coming in practice faculty, either joining the uh, some lawyer or some firm. Uh, which where there is no basic condition uh, requirement of LLM, uh, I don't think you should be bogged down with doing LLM. You know, it's not a waste of time. It's additional knowledge, but the same knowledge when you can attain doing your professional work. And I told you, keep reading every day one one bare hand, and don't give it up. LLM is same big big uh, commentary you're reading. I would recommend you not to read commentaries. He bear acts and judgment of the Supreme Court on it. Huh? Commentaries are misleading. <laughs> you get confused. Huh? We have a question from a judiciary aspirant here. Mm. Uh, she is asking that is practice also important? Like if you're a judiciary candidate, so post your uh, LLB, post your graduation, should you focus on the studies of uh, judiciary or should you practice along for practical knowledge as well? Practice is mandatory, no? minimum uh, three to five years is mandatory if you want to become a judge. Uh, for a district judge, seven years and a judicial magistrate, fucking class, second class, I think one or two years. And if for a Supreme High Court judge, a minimum 10 years, that, but they want 20 years minimum. 10 years is the constitutional requirement uh, for a member of a, um, any tribunal, 10 years practice. So without practice, you cannot become perfect. Minimum. Minimum two, three years training you must take as a lawyer, uh, both in the lower court, especially magistrate's court, and in the uh, civil just junior division, senior division, and family court. Then you can easily handle it. Huh? Please note that. Don't get stuck to one court. Judicial aspirant will be asked question on magistrate's court. Practice. What is a bail? What is a remand application? Huh? Uh, what is anticipatory bail? Also, injunction on the order 39, rule 1 and 2. Receiver, commissioner, uh, interrogatory, is a question. Uh, uh, 
प्रोविजन रिलेटिंग टू डेवोर्स जुवेनाइल जस्टिस एक्ट में क्वेश्चन आएंगे आप लोग इज इन डेट सो यू शुड नो दिस प्रोविजन and you should have the practice in both civil court and criminal court is ke liye uh, essentially in magistrates court uh, civil judge senior division junior division consumer court may be required to practice visit them family court then you can sure, become sure. perfect yeah sure we have a lot more questions actually but we are out of time as we have other yeah. sessions scheduled too so yeah. so we definitely going to trouble you again and yeah. we will have you back on our channel soon my pleasure my pleasure and it was lovely having you and uh, thanks to all the participants too for joining and uh, having a chat box filled with such amazing questions and we'd love to have you again on the platform and my the participants like these keep motivating us for having our um, sessions for continuing with the sessions and all if you all have missed some part or want to rewatch it we'll have we have this have the session uploaded on our youtube channel as well of lawyers club india